Yeah, we are back with another trillion. Back with another one of these trillion things. Videos, man. videos, 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 videos. Baby, go ahead and let them in the front. Nope. Y'all, what is good? So glad you are back to hang out with us and check out another dope video. Who we got up today? So, man, we got another Zach Russian. Mm, what are you talking about now? What are you talking about? It's simply out of respect. Okay, wait, let's see what you're talking about, Zach. A little story about how I almost got my ass whooped by a black man during Black History Month. By the end of the conversation, mm -mm. he was hugging me and telling me, thank you for thinking the way that I think. I got a call last night from a buddy of mine, black buddy of mine, same guy that asked me to go to the black cookout. <laughs> he said, hey man, how you doing? I said, good man, been a long time. He said, I know it. He said, hey look, I need a favor. I said, all right buddy, what you got? He said, man, inner city baseball league's about to start back up and because of everything going on and them having basically the whole world shut down, we have had zero time to do any kind of fundraising for the for the inner city baseball league would you consider sponsoring a team i said hell yeah i'll sponsor a team i'm all about youth sports 100 percent i said i'm down like four flats he said are you really i said absolutely i said uh can you meet me at the gas station in 20 minutes i'll cut you a check he said yeah buddy i'll meet you there so i grabbed my checkbook and like a bat out of hell i headed to the gas station now i'm sitting there waiting and my buddy pulls up no recognize his car and buddy gets out and an older gentleman gets out older black man he introduces me, and it just so happens to be that that older black man is the head guy in charge for the Inner City Baseball League, and he brought him to tell me thank you, which was completely unnecessary, but I really did appreciate it. Now, the older man had seen my black cookout video, and he was just jokingly asking me. He said, hey, buddy, you going to another black cookout for Black History Month? And before I could even answer, my buddy turned to him and said, Zach doesn't celebrate Black History Month. Uh-oh. The amount of rage that come over this man's face was absolutely <laughs> it, it was ungodly but I, I don't get it but why even even mention it if you know, he doesn't celebrate black history sure. month? i guess because he went to a black cookout I, I had already had this conversation with my buddy years ago and got him to understand why i don't celebrate black history month and he was thankful the old man looked at me and he said you don't celebrate black history month i said no sir he looked at me again. He said, do you care to like elaborate why? <laughs> I said, absolutely. And I looked at him. I said, sir, I have absolutely no idea what it's like to walk around in America as a black man. Okay. I have absolutely no idea what it's like to be judged by the color of my skin in today's day and time. I have absolutely no idea what it is like to have a complete history of absolute hatred bestowed upon me simply because of the color of my skin. Wow. For me to celebrate Black History Month is an insult to you. Mm. You don't celebrate a team's win if you're not on that team. What you can do as a decent person is you can honor their win. You can respect their win. And you can be happy for them that they won. Okay. For having to overcome ungodly obstacles for the simple fact of just being looked at as a normal human being and an equal. He just kind of looked at me. He was kind of taken back by the whole ordeal. I told him, I said, sir, for me to sit there and tell you openly that I celebrate Black History Month is an insult to your entire race. Hmm. What I can assure you is that I am in full support of it. I honor it and I respect it to the highest power. And I told him, I said, because buddy, when we all get to them pearly gates up there, the man upstairs doesn't care about color. He, he doesn't. cares about decency. Exactly. I told him, I said, do you really think if I had any kind of hate in me at all, that I would be down here cutting you a check for a league that interacts inner city black and white kids together? Right. I would not be here. He said, no, you have a point. I said, I, that's right. I have a point for the fact that I don't see color. Just because I'm a redneck, talk with a draw and spit tobacco doesn't mean that I'm holding on to the old ways. Now stop it right there. Ooh, that is that's statement. what I like. And see, a lot of people make the assumptions because they look at the outwardly and think automatically, and that goes on both sides of the fence. Yes. That you're a certain way. Yes. Based off of how you look. And Absolutely. that is so messed up that society is that way. Yeah, I like what he's saying. He said, just because I'm a redneck that's got a southern accent and spit tobacco does not mean I'm attached to the old ways. No, and society has labeled that mm -hmm. as that. Well, I mean, it comes from, you know, facts and, you know, behaviors, but I like what he said. I but, really but, like what he said. But people people shift. It's era and time. Me. Era and time allows, you know, an era, era, and time allows things to change. Mm -hmm. You know, so I, I respect exactly what he's saying. I love that. 
I bit something bit me right there. I don't know what it is. It's like a little bitty small bump right there. It bite. It bit you and left. Well, I guess it's itching. It's a little bump. See it right there. A little spider bite. Spider. Or not, contrary to most people's popular belief, there is the majority of rednecks out there who do not think that way. There is prejudices given to rednecks the same way there is prejudices given to black men and women. Yeah. He just he's kind of taken back at this point. He kind of steps back, and he's yeah, you can tell he's thinking real hard. Like this white man is basically telling me right now. That he doesn't celebrate Black History Month, but I can't argue with why he doesn't. He looked at me, he says, so basically you're telling me that you don't celebrate Black History Month because you don't have the right to. I said, you're exactly right, sir. He said, do you think there's some more of you out there? I said, buddy, I got a company called Bass Bucks and Birds. He said, yeah, I know about it. I said, you're writing a check from him. I said, yeah, absolutely. I said, there, my, my Facebook page is predominantly rednecks because that's all I talk about is hunting, fishing, and stuff like that. He said, yeah. I said, I guarantee you if I do a fundraiser for the inner city baseball leagues to help out the children to make sure that they're able to play this year, regardless of what color they are, you will see more support than you've ever seen in your whole life. He said, do you really think that? I said, I don't just think that, sir. I know that. I love it. He said, would you do that? I said, I'll do it. I'll do it tomorrow morning. So... Like I said, from Bass Bucks and Birds, which is my outdoor company, Bass which is probably predominantly birds. white. <laughs> any subscription box that is bought from my company for this month, the proceeds are going to the inner city kids. All right. I'm going to show them, not just tell them, I'm going to show them no, that there is decent people Money out there regardless of the color of their skin and I regardless if they talk with a draw. I believe it. I honestly believe I'm not that. only going to express to him the fact that I'm that way. I, I just feel like there are more good people in the world than there are bad people in the world. Because regardless. We, were, we were labeled, you know, black people were, to, when you see somebody who's southern, you kind of, I mean, not southern, when you, lay, when you see somebody where you see the, the rubber flag or you see the accent or, the, like you said, the tobacco or the truck, it was always taught for us, like, how a squirrel his reaction to seeing a human like get out the way mm -hmm. run run it was always Paris. taught with us. I mean that's something that's been taught that's been taught a long long time ago yeah and um I think as time heals that eventually that line will come together at some point I think like how he's like prime example it's, I, I really want people to bridge the gap of two different styles and we don't, so black people, we don't have that fear that this person is a racist or this person want, wants the old way. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. that's how we feel as black African Americans when we see the, see the Confederate flag. Well, like how he, you get on all of that from what he just said? You, you went down. But that's what he's, that's, that's the whole gist of the era of thinking that he won't support a black team. Yeah, because that man was livid when he got out, when, when that got out of the car. When he was, after he talked to him and found out that he didn't celebrate it, he was like hot. Right, because he thought it was on some old, you know. But I mean, if a person doesn't celebrate black history, I wouldn't be mad at him, you know. That's your choice and your preference. It's the value. It's, you know, you may not value it. Everybody doesn't have to value the same thing. Right, but that's not what he's saying. It ain't I, that he don't value it. I know. I'm just saying that, though. Yeah. Yeah, I love, I love what he's saying. Me too. I'm going to prove to him that the old days and the hatred that people will think that they're holding on to and this, that, and the other is gone. My good. And if you're one of them idiots that holds on to that kind of hatred, you have absolutely no business at all on my page. At all. That's right. Tell them. Like I was talking about the preconceptions and stuff, just because I'm a redneck, I'm the opposite of racist. I'm well known for going to my first black cookout, which I was shown more respect there than I ever have in my life and I will continue throughout my life to match that respect. I like Let's that. Go. In every way, shape and form. Yeah. So if you want to be a part of it and you want a subscription box from me, go to the link in the description and buy a subscription box because I'm fitting to support that whole league. And I told him, I said, I do honestly believe that the amount of people on my page and the amount of people that have let go of the hate 
and has finally accepted the fact that we are all God's children, I can get you enough support to fund this whole league. Wow. wow. So if you want to be a part of it, click the, click the link in the description. And if you're one of the people that's holding on to hate, hit that unfollow button because you got no business at all on my page. Yeah. I love everybody, and that's always going to be the case. I love it. I feel like if a person that holds like on to hate, that. you have no business on this planet. He said. You hear what I'm I saying? I love everybody. A Amen. person that's still holding on to hate, whether black or white, what's your purpose of your existence? They're miserable. People that hate. How, how can you live another. a good life and, and, and be scared of a, somebody's skin color? How can you enjoy life? How? They're miserable. They're not enjoying life. You can't tell me that anytime a person hates someone for something, you're not enjoying life. And especially when it deals with your race or ethnicity, I think it's horrible. But like yeah, I man. said, God don't see color, God don't see race. race. So, I mean, it is what it is on that. That's right. Yep. This was really good. That was good. Yeah, I wasn't expecting him to say this. I thought it was going to be a little bit more funnier. Funny, yeah. On the no, funny it, he, side. He was like, no. Yeah. This but w- this is a little serious. Talk, this talk, good. Talking truth. Yeah. And then he from I like his mindset. And then Mississippi. Mississippi. I like his mindset. Mississippi in itself has always been a, a fear. Yeah. Yeah. You know, unless you're talking about, you know, Biloxi somewhere. You, you, know, you know you know, what I'm saying? Yeah. But um, <laughs> a Pritchett. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, man. Okay, man. This that was dope. One. It was. Um, we got to do more of his videos. We Zach, Zach got good stuff, man. Mm-hmm. I like Zach, man. He cool. All right, man. We'll see you on the next one, man. Yeah. Y'all, thank you again for dropping. I'm just going to, you ain't even, mm-mm, mm-mm. You, you shorten, you shorten it in our folks. Y'all, he ain't giving y'all a good an ex, ex, extra an exit. Yeah. Oh, honey, yo. Uh, his elbows are so scratchy, y'all. Oh, you need some corn husk on there. <laughs> corn husk oil. Mold you do. Oil. That's exactly what you need. Some All right, guys. Weight. Let us know what you thought about this video. Don't forget to smash the like button and share the video. And check out the video Fake Profit, guys, if you haven't watched it already. And for those you have, appreciate you because we got we're gonna keep on rolling with it y'all. i think you i think you right at, with them. right at a thousand okay about to get hit on a thousand well, appreciate y'all thousand. love it i love it i love it let's go yeah. bye-bye peace